Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 31st of October and the time has just gone 8.50 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the Dow Jones, or as we call it on our platform, the US 30 cash. And essentially we can see that the market has been uh, uh, receiving some trendline support. If you draw a line between the lows of of um a february 20 uh, february this year a february march april and may we can see we can insert a trend line and we can see that actually on monday the market actually traded below the trend line but it managed to close above it uh, and on, on yesterday the market opened pretty much up on just above the trend line and we've now and we now we're now firmly above the trend line so while we were in north of the trend line it's likely we could see a further push higher in the dow jones uh if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that as the market has been pushing higher, we've seen a fairly steady decline in negative momentum. So the positive move in the market has been confirmed by the decline in negative momentum. So once again, we can be more confident that the upward trend is the upward move is going to continue. Uh, if we do push on higher from here, from these levels, uh, we're currently trading just about 25,000. If you can continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at heading up toward this, this yellow line here, the 100 day moving average, which comes into play at 25,000. 475 and a move beyond that could bring the mid-october high into play this area here at 25,862 any uh move to the downside uh, if the market does turn over on itself again may find some support from this trend line here uh, which would come into, which could come into play in around the 24,450 470 mark and if you do break below the trend line we could be looking at any back down towards 24,000, big psychological number, and a break below 24,000 might bring the, uh, the, the May low of 23,539 into play. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, the S&P 500, if you are going to trade the Dow Jones, it's worth your while keep, keeping an eye on the S&P 500, because the S&P 500 is also near, near a fairly important uh, trend line. If you draw a trend line between the lows of February 2016 and the lows of November 2016 on the on the S&P 500, we get this trend line here, and we can see that, that the market is is is, uh, is holding above this trend line. And as we know from Dow theory, the more um, the averages must confirm each other, and if and if both markets are above their respective trend line supports, we can be more confident that, that the upward move is going to continue. If only one of the two is, is above their, their trend line support, we can be a bit, we're, we're a bit less confident. And if both break below the respective trend line supports, we can be more confident that the, the kind of medium term negative uh, move is going to continue. Now, if you are going to trade any of the US indices, uh, keep, an eye out, keep an eye out for ADP employment, which is coming out later today. And on Friday, the 2nd of November, we have the non-farm payrolls. Um, and we are actually holding a non-farm payroll webinar, which can be found on our, on the, under the, web, the Learn and Webinar section of our, of, our, of our new site. If you have any comments about this video or any other videos we make here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.